Patriots, the Philadelphia Phillies. What's up, guys? This game in the 9-7 here tonight. We're back on MLB The Show 23. If you guys enjoyed this video, it'd be really appreciated if you leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Let's play the show 23. Phillies, number one. In their division. Pitch and today's starter Tyler Glass. Now, what do we need to know here? A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the Glass game. Now. Great performance. We'll see if he can three, do three it. Three record, four point eight seven ERA, which is not good, Richard but it ain't Moline terrible either. Next for the A's. One of the stars in the win yesterday, as he had three hits. Really interesting to see him continuing his career as a two-way player at the major league level. Definitely always a topic of conversation around the game. Because it's so rare in baseball history, it gets people excited. He's a great athlete to be able to do this kind of thing. Now the 0-1. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that one is off the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Man at second here with two away. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. O'Neal stands at second with two gone. Come on, Nick. <clears throat> Drive this running. That one out to right. Yeah. Has a beat on it. He hit it, but it didn't go He's anywhere. Got it, and that'll end the inning. The A's strand one. Scoreless after Thank one. Thank him. Of course, I need to redesign the studio because I'm tired of seeing these people standing up watching the game. And why is this little kid look Back like a little Oakland. kid? Now it's the DH. Ooh, fairly done put up five. Ooh. Suarez back to work. And a base hit up the middle. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And down on strikes. And one away. Yes, nice yeah, right I know. Struck him out twice. The pitch before the looked like it was strike. Ronaldo Ramirez, come on, down. Ronaldo. Another quality pitch for the strikeout. O'Neill over at first with one away. And he walked him. Bo, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? No, oh, that's a good <laughs> question. Um, I think no. that if they gave the pitcher. A full scouting report on me? Yes, I think I could draw one. Right, Get on for us. Here we go. Move to second. O'Neal dives back in safe. <laughs> Center field. Marsh moves under it. And makes the grab. And there are two outs. And now the center fielder, number 92, over one so far. The center fielder. So gone. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. In the air, right field. Harper has a beat on it. Squeezes it. And that will end the inning. And welcome back. Ready to go Damn. for the last half of the inning. And here is Richard O'Neill. Rolled softly. It reminds me of 22. You know, these A's where you never win the, the first game of the series. Being a little over aggressive. They're swinging at more than 70% of the first pitches they've seen today. And it's just not working out for them. So those first pitch numbers tell me they should try to find a way to slow this game down a bit. Things have been moving just too quickly yeah. for at times. Fires over to Voight. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball. Man at first with one gone. Digging in for Oakland. Richard O'Neill. Hey, get your pitch. Drive it. 
Good eye right there. There we go. Bounce to the left side. Nice stop. The throw. Boom. To second. On to first. Safe. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Runner at first, the two right away. Nick eight. Castellanos at the plate Six. now. Castellanos. Come on, let it fly right here. And a ball and two strikes. In the air, out towards right center. And he makes the catch. It's crazy. When you're meant to lose the game, you're meant to lose the game, yo. Not going their way. I just it's wish they would stop making the game so predictable. Fan cam. And just you know, make it, it organic. <laughs> and we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. All right, just about ready for baseball. <clears throat> Now the starting pitcher in this one, Richard O'Neill. What do you got on him, Chris? So dominant in his last start, double-digit strikeouts. It's going to be interesting today to see if he's able to have command of his secondary pitches. I threw a no-hitter in my last time. start. And now for the Phillies, really don't talk Robbie about that. Venable. Robbie Venable. The wind of the pitch. That's a strike, and we are underway. Next offering is in for a strike. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it can take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Next offering is in for a strike. That's one thing I need to learn, how to... Pay attention to the guys that's on base and throw over and do all that stuff. On the ground, the first. That ball foul. That ball foul in the motherfucker. And that's in the turn. Mm. Two strikes. <clears throat> Fights that one away. Still one and two. Bob, Bob. Bah, bah. Base knock right field. Batting mm. third. So a man aboard. Uh, and now here is Harper. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game that we're in now with a pitch inside the zone. righties and lefties. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And a foul ball. And a 1-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a one-two again. Ground ball, left side, and foul ball. Next pitch ball. inside, ball two. And that is there, Harper, frustrated. <laughs> as he's rung up on strikes. And he lets the plate umpire know him. The left field. Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Found back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs. You caught one 
as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. Was my wrist and my hand. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. That one misses. Two, balls, two strikes. Uh, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He, ah, now this ball splits the gap in right center. Boom. Around third. Wow. He he was was scored, the ball. And it's one nothing. Everything came together for him. Nice line drive to the whole side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Luke Voigt stands in now, looks at that one inside. Hey, we got two. Two down. That pitch in for a strike. And a count one and one. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence. That is weird, because I swear. I swear right Bryce Harper was the third fucking out. I swear Bryce Harper was there. the third guy that got out. Because Bryce Harper would never no bat second. Onto the so, of the first. I don't understand. The this is really messed up. Bryce Harper should have been the end of that series. The end of the first series. Because Bryce Harper would have been batting Welcome third, back. not and second. Is the speedy Brandon Marsh. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. The why to kick the pitch. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Caught him looking for the K. No, well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. He's there. He's got it. And there's two away. Garrett Stubbs getting ready to hit. That one the other way. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Mm. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. This is Bryson Stock. Strike one. Mm, Bryce Stock. Leads off first with two down to the inning. He swings and fouls one off. to third stops it on a slide gathers and throws and very nicely done for the out Philly strand one but they still lead it thank up. him on to the third inning and now the DH Robbie Venable Robert Venable, Venable. The switch hitting DH 22 years old and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. That's in there, and that is strike one. Right-hander kicks, deals. There's a line drive to left field. Makes the grab one down. And now it's Alec Bohm. Singled and scored his first time. Alec Bohm. Pitch is in there. It's 0-1. Lifted in the air right center field. Castellanos gets under it. And a couple of quick outs. Bryce Harper to the plate. Number 
Certainly it's I'm saying Bryce Harper would have been number three. So when Bryce Harper was out in the first in inning, that series should have been over. Home run that put the Phillies ahead and would send fucking the game is bullshit. The game be fucking Morris. cheating. There, Bryce Harper is out, but the shit Harper, still continues. 14th season, hitting third in the lineup, and he's a former home run derby champ. Fouls one off out of play, back to our left. Here comes a pitch. This to center field. Sanchez ranging after it. Drops into the glove. And that ends the inning. Phillies down in order, but they hold a 1 0 lead. Back here in the East Bay. And now, Kyle Schwarber. <sighs> Kyle Schwarber. O'Neill back to work. Rips that one center field, and there's one down. And it'll Schrauber. be a to stand in. He's all for in Canacion. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swinging for the strikeout. Blew the Luke express Boat. right by Boy. his bat for strike three. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Went down Brandon Marsh. Yeah, this is... There needs to be on my team, Marsh. In the center. Sanchez gets under it. He makes the, the grab. Marsh or was it? And that's one the of them. Down quickly, go to Phillies, but they're on top, one nothing. Back here at the ballpark, ready now for the fifth inning. Stepping in, Oledmis Diaz. Down the corner for a strike, and it's 0-1. You know, these Phils just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Swing and a ball popped up. That gets wow. down. Wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> start with a <laughs> he hit the ball. Wow. Yeah, nice That's crazy. Hitting that at bat. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. Strike two. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the righty deals. Stays alive. Deal two. Good eye right there. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Checks his swing. Now oh, that's third. bull. No, he held up. Wow. The pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. And now Bryce is It's the stop. movement. <laughs> fastball have movement on it as well. Next offering is in for a strike. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I really think the outer half is open. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. 
start. Oh, he's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. So the lineup flips over. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Robbie Venable. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Diaz off of first with two away. Next offering upstairs. Yeah, is this guy a midget? What the hell? Seems like all the pitches that go up high is too high. Swing and pop off in foul ground. That's fine, that's fine. He's got it. <clears throat> that is that. One left for Philadelphia. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back in Oakland, all set for the start of the inning. And digging in for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. Bohm. The right-hander back to work. And foul like Alec Bohm when I played in Philadelphia. When he played in Philadelphia. Old, former first-round pick back in 2018. We didn't win no championships with them either. Here's the 0-2. Goes down looking. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0 and 2 and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after him. Here's Harper now. Off the mark there. 1 and 0. Harper is overrated, that's for sure. The run derby. Well, the Nationals had the All-Star game in 2018, and Bryce Harper, with his dad throwing to him, put on quite a performance and won the home run derby. Ball to strike, the pitch. There's a strike. Yeah, probably the biggest moment in Nationals Park for Harper, and he would have loved that to have been a World Series appearance, but it was an All-Star game mm. and a home run derby where he just took the crowd by storm. Now all even up. And there's a no. uh. To the right side. And that chance handled. Throw it. Uh. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Throw it, dumbass. Just throw it. I was there already. Why are you going to wait till the first baseman and get on there to throw it a ball? And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss. Popped up to the left into foul ground. And there are two down. And here's Luke Voigt. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And then without allowing a run or more than one hit. And then the hand without allowing a run or an extra base hit. And then without allowing more than one run. I'm go with that one. Screw it. I always pick the same stuff. And that one hammered Encarnacion. Going and that's back on this one. And that one is off the top of the wall. Magical. With a relay home. Magical. Not in time. He's safe. A that is so bullshit. Play. Every time I pick a fucking so challenge, now, here's a that's what happens. Brandon Marsh. On the ground right side. And that's just foul. This one lifted in the air, left field, and Carnacion coming in on it. No trouble here. And Carnacion. And, the... and welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Oledmis Diaz. The hell can I throw a no hitter in the last series? But now I can't even get my team to fucking put up an extra hit. Got an extra run. Or a couple extra runs. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. 
Oh, come on, hump. We're gonna be we're gonna be driving your truck out of here at a high pace. <laughs> Next pitch is outside. Oh, come on, Full blue. Count three and two. Mm. 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 And he deals. Fights it off. He'll see another. <clears throat> the pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. It always come to this part where there's a fucking stalemate. Bows that off to the left and we'll do it again. <coughs> He's really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Rocketed out towards right center and a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. But when you see that many pitches in a bat, your chances of succeeding go up. There we see the result. Mason you know it's gonna be a bullshit ass again. Oh, we came back in one. Against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming your way next. Ooh. So two down, and next is the designated hitter, Richard O'Neill. Leading the American League in hitting entering the day. First offering misses the mark. Next pitch is popped up. Stop. Settles under this one. Pulls Late. it down and he makes the catch. Late on that swing. Richard O'Neill up next for the A's. <laughs> First time up was a pop out. <laughs> Slapped foul. As a pitcher, oh. you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The pitch. Fought off foul. Going two now. That one is absolutely belted. Bangs off the wall. Runner from second crosses the plate. We're tied at one. Not in time, it's a double. Huge game tying at bat right there. Came through in a big spot to drive in the run. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. One out. Runner at second. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Come on, Nick. Grounded out his Driving first run, time. Nick. Let's get it going. Painter oh. picks over. And he's back in safely. Thought he almost got me there. And the pitch. There we go, Nick. Nick. Let's go, Nick. Headed for the plate. He's in there. Yeah. They take the go, lead. Nick. It's 2 1. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI. Schwaber. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the ball. So, up next, Richard. Boss challenge. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. But there's on base and slugging too. And that one fouled off. A slider. Two on, two outs. And it's quickly Ooh. nothing in two on the designated. The dirty hitter. Pitch misses there. Gonna count one and two. Badu on third. McLean on at first with two down. Hammer 
third. Base hit. In comes the run from third, and they're up by three. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. First and second, two down. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. The 1-1. One -one. Tap softly third base side. A swinging bunt. Stott over to first in time. And Castellanos is out. And that is the inning. So it's two runs on four hits. Back here in the East Bay. Now it's the DH. Richard O'Neill. And a pitch. And a foul ball. You know, these athletics doing a good job at the plate with runners on base, and that can be a key difference maker in the game. With runners in scoring position, they've come through more than 50% of the time, and you can see the damage it's created on the scoreboard. Oh, and two now. Ripped on a line to center. Ah, right to center field. And there's one away. Man, that's one of those Good swing, everybody. Get right to center field. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me tonight. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd be really appreciated if you leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll never miss another upload. Remember, stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask if you choose, so most important of all, be kind to each other, and tell someone you love them, and put God first. Peace.